mechanical properties of solids today in this first of all let's know about uh, some characteristics of a solid first of all what is a rigid body let us know whenever we apply some force on a body then what happens the force may change the size or shape of the body this means that some deformation is produced in the body actually what is meant by deformation deformation means uh, it is nothing but it is the change either change in a shape or size of the body the force which produces the change uh, in a size or shape of the body is called a deforming force and the change which is produced either change in a size or shape is called a deformation now let us know about what is rigid body rigid body is nothing but the body in which uh, no deformation is produced on the application of the external force is called here rigid body now we may got a doubt that here is there any rigid body in this world in this world are no body is rigid body why because uh, any body will be deformed uh, by a particular amount of force but in this physics we consider every body will be a rigid body up to certain amount of force for example this blackboard is a rigid body up to particular amount of force for example when i beat this this blackboard can be a the force up to certain value means uh, this blackboard will be a rigid body up to certain amount of force beyond the force this blackboard means this board will be broken means uh, this will not act as a rigid body beyond that force means uh, in this uh, we consider every body as a rigid body up to certain amount of force okay now we here we define rigid body like this also for example on the application of the force if uh, no change is produced either in a size or shape means here the relative positions of the two molecules uh, in a rigid body could not change suppose this is a rigid body now this is the molecular arrangement we applied a force like this in any direction if the force applied uh, did not change the positions relative positions of the molecules uh, then such body will be called as a rigid body here okay now in this lesson we are going to study the main property that is called elasticity of a body here solid bodies means uh, rigid bodies now let us know first of all what is elasticity yes in our daily life we may have a experience that when a rubber band is stretched when a spring is stretched and released then the spring or the rubber band regains its uh, original size and shape uh, completely now this property of the rubber band and the spring is called here elasticity and uh, this uh, rubber band and spring are called here elastic bodies means uh, elasticity is the one of the property of the solid bodies due to this uh, the bodies regains uh, their original size and shape here so elasticity is nothing but it is the property of the solids due to which they regain their original size and shape uh, on the removal of the external force means on the removal of the deforming force yes now here we define the elastic bodies elastic bodies means not only we take an example a rubber band that is a and a <coughs> spring these bodies are a uh, regaining their original size and shape after removing the external force nothing but these bodies are the elastic bodies as you may have a doubt that for example if you take putty or clay or wax on these bodies uh, if you apply the force then they could not regain their original size and shape now what this property is called this property is called here plasticity means that the plasticity is the quietly opposite to elasticity elasticity is the property to regain the original size and shape plasticity is the property to retain in the deformed state permanently after removal the deforming force for example take a weed duff whenever we apply the force on weed duff the weed duff could not regain its uh, original size and shape completely means uh, the weed duff having the property plasticity similarly clay wax uh, these are uh, substances these materials are having the property plasticity okay now here we are here we define the we 
when a deforming force is acting on the body here we define a property a physical quantity that is called a stress what is meant by stress before going to know about stress we should know one thing how does the bodies can regain their original size and shape after removing the deforming force due to the the force which is developed inside the body against the applied force against the deforming force that force is called here restoring force for example when you look at a uh, look at a spring when the spring is stretched and uh, released the spring is uh, regaining its original size and shape how does it is regaining inside the spring uh, what is happening here some force is uh, developed how much force is developed here how much you apply the force at end it ends uh, to stretch it uh, the same amount of force is developed inside the spring uh, in the opposite direction to bring it back to the original size and shape now that force is called here restoring force because of the developing of a restoring force only the body can uh, show the property of elasticity means uh, elasticity can be shown by the uh, property by the force that is called here restoring force how much restoring force will be developed in elastic bodies here so as the same amount of applied force means how much deforming force applied on the body same amount of the restoring force is developed here now let us uh, define the stress in terms of a uh, restoring force here stress is defined as the the restoring force developed uh, per unit area the restoring force developed per unit area of the body is called here stress now stress can be written as a stress is equals to restoring force divided by area for example this is a body on the body at it ends up we applied a force f to compress it now this f is the applied force it is nothing but it is the deforming force now on the removal of the force f uh, again what happens the body regains uh, its original size and shape if it is elastic here we suppose this body is elastic so that on the removal of this force uh, it regains its original size and shape how does it can regain it can regain its original size and shape because of uh, inside the body in the opposite direction of applied force uh, the same amount of restoring force is uh, developed in the opposite direction here the applied force or restoring force is acting on uh, this area this area is a uh, suppose it is a uh, a now stress is uh, defined as a uh, stress is equals to restoring force developed uh, it is same as the applied force by surface area f by a so the formula for stress is a uh, restoring force by area or it is a uh, applied force by area why because restoring force and applied force are having a uh, equal magnitudes but they are acting in the opposite directions so that stress can be written as a uh, restoring force by area or applied force by area both are having same magnitude let it be f by on which uh, area they are acting suppose here we suppose a so that stress is equals to force by area here stress is a scalar quantity and uh, the units of stress will be like this here the cjs units of stress are for four cjs unit is a dyne for area centimeter square and si unit is a newton per meter square or a pascal these are the units of stress we can write the dimensional formula also dimensional formula to know the dimensional formula of stress we should substitute the dimensional formula of uh, force and uh, area dimensional formula of force is a uh, ml t minus 2 divided by for area l2 so you get here m l power 1 minus 2 t minus 2 that is equals to ml minus 1 t minus 2 this is the dimensional formula for stress so we define stress like this here stress is nothing but it is the restoring force developed per unit area or the force applied applied force per unit area is also called stress here stress is the scalar quantity now here we see the different types of stress basically stress is of two types number one is a normal stress
and second one is a tangential or sharing stress like this a uh, basically stress is of two types normal stress second one is a tangential or sharing stress let us discuss individually let's know first about a uh, normal stress normal stress stress is normal normal to what sir normal to the surface area normal to the surface area means uh, again this stress is of two types here the first one is a uh, longitudinal stress and second one is a uh, volume stress again normal stress is of two types longitudinal stress and volume stress both comes under under the normal stress here both these two types of stress are uh, perpendicular to the surface of the body and second is a uh, tangential or sharing stress this stress is a uh, parallel to the surface of the body it is a uh, tangential to the surface of the body here like this uh, basically we define we divide a uh, stress into two types now first of all let us discuss clearly about normal stress normal stress is the stress which is acting perpendicular to the surface of the body again it is divided into two types uh, longitudinal stress and volume stress briefly longitudinal stress is nothing but the stress which is acting along the length uh, volume stress is the stress uh, which is acting on the volume let us know first of all about a uh, longitudinal stress here longitudinal stress can be defined uh, in two ways again means again there are two types of uh, longitudinal stress let's know first of all the types of longitudinal stress longitudinal stress is of two types again first one is a uh, tensile stress second one is a uh, compressive stress let's see first of all what is tensile stress tensile stress means the stress uh, which produces elongation in the length of the body for example you take a suppose it is a rubber cord or it is a wire okay at the ends of the wire we apply the force uh, in opposite directions to stretch it using the two forces f and f uh, at the ends uh, we are stretching the wire so that there will be some increase in the length of the wire now here the stress acted is called here tensile stress then how do you calculate the tensile stress again any stress is the calculated by same formula that is force by area the force f is acting on this area now this area let it be a here the two forces acting at ends f and f acting on the areas a and a so here we write the formula for tensile stress again the same formula force by area any stress is calculated using the same formula force by area restoring force by area or uh, applied force by area so simply tensile stress is a stress which produces the elongation in the length of the body is it can be understand by this example when a two forces f and f acting at the two ends of the rubber cord or a wire in opposite direction to stretch it uh, there will be some increase in the length of the wire now so the stress uh, which produced uh, elongation is called here tensile stress that can be calculated using the formula applied force f by area a this is about tensile stress later on we see about uh, compressive stress here opposite to tensile stress uh, compressive stress produces the compression in the length of the wire or rubber cord in our example now this is the rubber cord or a wire at its at its ends uh, again two forces equal forces f and f acting in opposite directions to compress it when it is compressed uh, its length may be decreased now this step of stress is called here compressive stress then again how do you calculate this stress 
the force is acting on these two areas these two areas are a and a now compressive stress is calculated by the formula force by area like this uh, longitudinal stress is of two types of tensile stress and compressive stress basically longitudinal stress means the stress which is acting along the length this longitudinal stress uh, may increase the length then that is called a uh, tensile stress it may decrease the length that is called a uh, compressive stress now it is a uh, one type of the normal stress again normal stress uh, having second type that is a uh, volume stress